In lesson 5 we'll be reviewing the concepts of word problems and fractional part of a number problems. Let's just review word problems by doing a practice problem. And this one it says the sum of 5 and a number is multiplied by 4. The result is 3 less than 3 times the number. What is the number? Now what we just did there, that should always be your first step on a word problem, is to read through it, figure out what you're doing. You're trying to find what is the number. There's always a question you're trying to answer in a word problem. And so find that and make sure you know what that is first. And then this one, we're trying to find this number that when we add it to 5, we multiply that sum by 4, and then the result of that quantity is 3 less than 3 times the number. So our next step is to make an algebraic equation based on that equation. There's one unknown, and so we just need one equation to solve it. And so let's go ahead and start writing the sum of 5 and a number. Let's just write down what that means. Sum, that's the result of addition, so 5 and a number would be 5 plus n. The sum of 5 and a number is multiplied by 4. And so we multiply this by 4. The result, we put an equal sign. That word result means equals, basically. The result is 3 less than 3 times the number. And so if we had 3 times the number, we would take 3 away from that. That's what 3 less than 3 times the number means. So we have 3n. 3 less than that would be 3n minus 3. And so what is the number? Well, we go ahead and simplify this relationship. And so we expand on the left. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 4 times n is 4n equals 3n minus 3. Now let's go ahead and change sides and change signs. So we move the 3n to the left. Let's go ahead and move it over so it would make it a negative 3n. And we can do that in our head. 4n mi minus 3n is n. And then the 20, move it to the right. So it would be a negative 20 and a negative 3, negative 23. n equals negative 23. So that's our answer. Now, if we had two unknown values in that problem, then we would have had to have two equations to solve for it. If we had three unknown values, we would have had to have had at least three equations to solve for all three of them. In a word problem, to solve for the unknown or unknowns, you have to have the same number of equations as unknowns, and then you can solve for that equa or solve for that unknown or unknowns. Let's go ahead and do another word problem. Let's read it through once first. And it says, when John added his apples to the box, the number of apples tripled. Then Stephen added three more. The new total was 15 more than the original amount. What was the original amount? So we're trying to find the original amount. That's our unknown value. So we have one unknown here. We need one equation. And let's just read back through and see if we can figure out an algebraic equation based on the words that were given. When John added his apples to the box, the number of apples tripled. So that would be the original number. We could call it n, and its amount tripled when John added his to the box. So that would be 3n. Then Stephen added 3 more. So that would be an addition of 3 to that amount, 3n plus 3. That new total was, so there's an equal sign. The word was, results, is, those all represent the word or the algebraic symbol equals. So the new total, 3n plus 3, that was 15 more than, so 15 plus the original amount, which was just n. Because on the left side, we tripled the original amount, then added 3 to it. So we tripled n, added 3, and then the new total, that 3n plus 3, was equal to 15 more than, or 15 plus, the original of n. So let's change sides and change signs here first. So let's move the n to the left, and we'd end up with a 2n. If we move the 3 to the right, we would end up with a 12. 2n equals 12. So the original amount is 2 times 6 equals 12, or n equals 6. So we started with six apples. That amount tripled, so that would be three times six is 18. Then three more were added. That's 21. That new total 
was 15 more than the original amount. So 15 plus 6. We can always substitute our answer back into the original equation to make sure we did the problem correctly. Sometimes that doesn't help on a word problem though if we set the problem up incorrectly. In a word problem we look for keywords and phrases to help us set the algebraic equation up. That's the, a really important thing is looking for keywords like tripled. That means three times. Doubled would mean two times. Added, that means addition. Greater than, that means addition as well. Part B of this lesson is on fractional parts of a number. Let's just think about a fractional part of a number. Like if we had half of 50, we could write that half of 50. 50. Now you know that half of 50 is 25. You can just do that in your head. You split half into 50 or 50 into half, you'd get 25. You also know that half times 50 equals 25. And so what we can do when we think of fractional part of a number problems is think of the fraction as a symbol f, the of part as times, and then we'll just say f times of equals or is 25. F times of equals is. That helps us set up a fractional part of a number problem. Hopefully you remember that from Algebra 1 and maybe even Algebra half. When you're dealing with a problem with fractional parts of a number, that formula, that's like a way to help you set up the problem. It helps you think about what to do to solve the problem. And in fractional part of a number word problems, they'll give you two of those three parts. They'll give you the fraction part, the total, or the fractional part of the total, the is part. And they'll give you two of those three. You have to solve for the missing one. Look at this practice problem. Let's just read it through just like we always do a practice problem the first time through. Five-sixths of the fish in the channel were mullet. If there were 1,300 fish in the channel, how many were not mullet? So we're trying to figure out how many were not mullet. They told us the total number of fish, and they told us that five-sixths of them were mullet. One thing you can do on these is to make yourself a diagram. And just think about this. Here's the total, 1,308. They said there was 1,308 fish in the channel. Five-sixths of those were mullet. One-sixth, therefore, were not mullet. So we're trying to find the fraction of 1,308. That'd be one-sixth of 300, 1,308. So think about our formula. Let's write that down first. F times of equals is one-sixth of this total, 1,308. That's what is not mullet. So we'll say NM for not mullet. And so we just do that multiplication out and actually we would just do division. That'd be the easiest thing. 1,308 divided by 6 is equal to 218. And so 218 were not mullet. Make sure when you do these fractional part of word problems answer the question correctly. It didn't say how many were mullet if there was five, six. It asked how many were not. And that diagram helps us think about our fractional parts and think about our total. That helps us set up the problem. You don't have to do the diagram if you don't want to, but definitely do that formula. F times of equals is. That just helps you know where to put the different values. Okay, well that's all for lesson five.